Uh, yeah, the season has been quite a season. It's gone really well, probably the best one since I've been here as a freshman. So it's, it's looking really well. And from right off the bat, the first meet, we came out and had a great race. Everyone hit some good PRs in their 4Ks because we don't race 4K from a long time now. And even the freshmen haven't done it for a couple of years. Um, so that was exciting. And as we rolled on, we went to our conference course, hit a great times there too, won the meet boys and girls. So that was exciting. And that's really got us going for like, this is the meet, we can come back and we can do it again for this week and it's already here now. Um, and as we continued out through, we hit some bigger meets, um, going to Notre Dame and um, just the last meet at Bradley. And it was really cool to run against some bigger competition. And I think the whole team handled it really well. We um, didn't get lost too much in it. We kind of stuck together and packed up and we really have worked on our race tactics to help us get through the whole season. And now here we are at conference weekend already. <laughs> Yeah, the freshmen have done a really great job this season. Uh, we, every year we like kind of see who coach recruited, look at their times and kind of see, oh, what are they gonna do for us this year and see how they're gonna place. And this year we kind of, beginning of the year, we're gonna have some good freshmen. We're all really excited to see them and their times from high school, it's really nice now that we can compare their 5Ks to the women's 5K in college now. It's the same time, same race. Um, so that was really exciting to see how they'd place with us and now that the season's rolling we're really coming through and they're holding true to what they can do and overall our whole team has haven't had an injury yet really no one's sitting out too much um, and so that's really good for freshmen to make it through a whole cross season it very rarely happens so it's good to see them all in top shape and hitting those times and doing the races doing the workouts and not having to worry about injuries or anything else that's fall, making them fall back and they're all keeping up with school which is awesome. Being one of the top returners in the league definitely puts a little bit more pressure especially being an upperclassman now. I feel like as a freshman underclassman you kind of just get there's like high hopes for you but there's not really that expectation but now I've set a bar for myself so now it's like I got to keep that I got to push beyond that and reach beyond that and not only between our team and myself but the whole league has now like had me on their radar and so it's definitely the same thing when I see the other top girls of the other teams and those are the ones you want to beat so I don't know how the other teams view me as but um, it is exciting it does put a higher bar up there a little it makes it a little more nerve-wracking but I think I got it in me and can still do what I can do last year so I want to set the bar a little higher I guess my personal highlight for this season is probably Bradley the last race um, I it was the first 6k so I was all excited about that and it's a great course really nice footing it flies everyone I've gotten a PR probably every year there so it's really exciting I get to see some people that I race against that from back home it's the one meet I get to do that at everyone else gets to see um, former teammates from high school like all the time um, so the exciting thing was I came through the 5K and I looked at the time and it was like 17.45ish and I haven't broke 18 minutes in the 5K yet. So that was the first time and that was really exciting. And I was just like thinking like, I just want to stop and celebrate here. And it's like, I still got a 6K. So then really, it took me a second. I kind of like celebrated and then I was like, I can make another huge PR in my 6K. And when I finished that 6K, it was so exciting to have over like a 40 second PR from my 6K last year at conference. So it was a really big deal for me and to look at uh, the rest of the race. And now that I have conference to apply that to, I'm excited to see what other time I can shave off of that 6K and see if I can do something more with it. Yeah, so this weekend is the thing we train for all season. It's our main focus from day one. And um, now it's crazy to think it's already here. We're race and conference. Um, the big thing is we are one of the top teams that are going to be fighting for that number one spot. And the whole girls team are so excited. Our main goal is just bring home the hardware. Um, we took second last year, and which was a pretty good finish for us. We were really excited that over how much we've improved over the past three years. So this year we're like, all right, we got second. See if we can do it again or do it even better. And that's like the main goal. Um, 
we race to win. So <laughs> that's what we want to do. And um, personally, I want to get um, top first team all conference again and work for that and have some more teammates on the girls team finish in that first team, second team all conference. That would be the main goal. Um, I know we can do it because we're having a lot more girls running in that time that last year what they would have placed in. So it's definitely has potential, but everyone else in the conference has gotten a little faster too. So it definitely puts a competition out there on the line. It's not going to be handed to us.